All right, Brush Monkeys, welcome back. Uh, this week we are continuing our look at TT Combat's Carnival series. Uh, these miniatures came out uh, about a year ago, I'd say, and I finally got my hands on some of them. As you recall, last week I did an unboxing and review of the miniatures themselves, and now we're taking a look. We're starting to put some paint on them. So we're going to start with this guy here. It's called the Black Lamp. And uh, I'm not sure quite what his role in the game is, but uh, he looks pretty spiffy. And I've got my my uh, plan all laid out for how I'm going to paint him. Got my paints laid out, and uh, I think he's going to look pretty good. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started on him. I'm going to try to do kind of an OSL effect on this lamp that he's got going on, because it shows it in the box art. And uh, so that's why I've got the white and blue ink out because it's gonna do that with the ink and uh, hopefully it'll come out pretty good so let's go ahead and uh, pause this and get started yeah all right see you soon all right I'm back and I've made a little bit of progress on this guy um, painting him in a con combination of contrast paints and regular paints so I've got um, Army Painter Flat Black, Matte Black, excuse me, for the cloak, and uh, game, Vallejo Game Color Scarlet Red, which is kind of like a Citadel's Corn Red, for the cloak liner, which will later be highlighted with uh, Mephiston Red. Uh, I also have his, his tunic and pants painted in contrast paints. The tunic is uh, Black Templar. And uh, these little slashes on his sleeves here, I've gone over those with Wraithbone just to clean up the um, uh, Black Templar a little bit. Those are going to be painted with Leviathan Blue, so it's going to be a very, very dark blue. I think that's going to look really nice. His pants are uh, Griff Charger Gray. And same with his hair. It's not a whole lot of difference there, but, you know, it'll show up. I also touched up, like, the tops of his boots, the belt things like that just to um, clean it up a little bit so when I go in to do the uh, snake bite leather on his leathers it'll be a, a cleaner color um, his boots his gloves and his hat and obviously his belt and, his belt and scabbard there are all going to be uh, the uh, snake bite leather his mask I'm going to do in Vallejo old gold with a little bit of Seraphim Sepia wash to it. So it's nice and bright and looks carnival kind of thing. I um, also got out the uh, Nightmare Black from Reaper Master Series for the back of his cloak once that uh, dries. I'll highlight that in the Nightmare Black. So I think it's going to look really nice. Especially with the blue that having that blue highlights like dark blue highlights on the back I think it's gonna look really good um, contrast to the uh, light blue OSL effect I'm gonna have on the lamp here so he's coming along pretty nicely um, obviously his uh, dagger there is going to be steel the lamp itself is going to be steel with a dry brush of Necron compound and then I'll do the OSL with the uh, airbrush the base, uh, the cobblestones are going to be done with uh, Basilicanum Gray contrast paint, but I gotta wait until I paint his boots in case any of those need some cleaning up around his feet. Um, I may have to go over those with the Gray Seer. Get that out too. Um, and the base band is going to be um, Vallejo Scale Color Amethyst Alchemy. Vallejo Scale Color. Scale Color 75. Um, Amethyst Alchemy. It's a metallic purple. So I kind of wanted to have the... Uh, I sort of thought about doing it the same way I did the, the um, Harlequins that I, I didn't do on camera, but I did them in kind of a Mardi Gras style where they were uh, blue, gold, green, and purple. All in metallics. And I thought about doing it with different factions on this one, like the guild would have purple and another faction would have blue but I didn't get enough of any one faction for it to really make a difference so I'm just going to do them all in metallic purple and so yeah he's coming along uh, I'm going to go ahead his 
some of his contrast paint is still a little bit wet the cloak obviously is still a little bit wet so I'm gonna go ahead and let him dry and then I will uh, come back when I make some more progress on him all right Let's see you soon Bye. all right brush monkeys I'm back and I've made some more progress on the black lamp as you can see I've got his leathers all painted up and I got the base done well, I've got the the cobblestones painted on the rim of the base done obviously but that can wait <clears throat> that's generally speaking one of the last things I do anyway and you can see the contrast paint has left enough uh, variance on the stones that I think it'll be kind of interesting anyway I don't have to go out of my way to paint others different colors I also um, highlighted the black on the cloak with the nightmare black and I highlighted the cloak lining with Mephiston red and that looks pretty bright right now it'll darken as it as it dries so all that's really left to do on this guy aside from the, the rim of the base is the metallics it's his dagger and hilt there his uh, mask mask right in there and then his lamp and I think once I get the metallics done I'll be ready to do the um, OSL on the lamp so he's coming along pretty quick this is uh, um, I, I like this figure it's got a lot of good detail to it but at the same time it's not overwhelming to paint a couple of places I need to go a little thicker with the uh, I see right there I need to go put on that um, Griff Charger gray a little heavier right there but yeah it's coming along pretty well so I'm gonna go ahead and pause here and uh, I'm gonna touch up the Griff Charger gray and then I'm gonna do the metallics and then we'll come back and take a look at him before he uh, goes under the airbrush all right I'll see you soon bye all right I've made some progress you can see I got his dagger done buckles on his belt and boots this mask and I did the um, at least base coated the excuse me the lamp the steel on the lamp is still wet so I'm going to take a little break and let that dry um, I did manage to shade wash the mask so that's looking pretty pretty spiffy um, I'm not going to shade wash the rest of the golds I kind of want them to be fairly bright golds but that lamp um, when it's dry I'm going to shade wash it with Nuln oil here and then I'm going to dry brush it give it a light dry brush with the um, Citadel Necron compound And then, uh, yeah, once that uh, once that Necron compound is dry, he'll be ready to go under the airbrush. So I'm a little nervous about that because it's been a little while since I used the airbrush, <laughs> but I'm also kind of looking forward to it. So I think I think it's going to come out looking pretty good. I think it's going to look pretty nice. I'm going to try to do a little bit of blue in all these little panels showing around it here. A little bit of blue mixed with white showing out through these panels and then um, hopefully some of the back spray will go on him a little bit just to make it just to sell that OSL effect and I'm going to take the white ink and go real light right in the middle of those panels just to just to really make it look bright um, I'm I'm going to be doing all this with the Diggler Rowney and uh, Liquitex acrylic inks and I'm going to be shooting them through the Badger Sotar 2020 airbrush because I feel like it's got uh, first of all I need to use inks through that airbrush because it's notoriously fidgety about the thickness of the paint that goes through it um, it really doesn't like thick paint so I tend to I tend to reserve inks for the for the uh, 2020 but uh, also because the 2020 has got such a fine point on it it gives me the best control over what gets painted and what doesn't so he's coming along pretty nicely I think uh, I think he'll be done soon I basically just have the OSL effect to do I'm gonna like I said I'm gonna shade wash it and dry brush the lamp and then uh, if I can keep him in focus here shade wash and dry brush the lamp and then do the OSL effect and then 
do the uh, metallic purple on the bass band and he'll be good to go so should be done soon right. see you soon bye all right I've made some progress <coughs> so time for a little update here uh, as you can see I've got the steel all shade washed and dry brushed so it's looking good I got the base band painted I'm probably gonna put another layer or two on there just to smooth that out and get rid of some of those brush strokes um, the uh, scale color 75 uh, amethyst alchemy is a great paint it's a beautiful paint it's not a very thick paint which is why there's multiple layers on there so I put a base coat down of uh, Vallejo game color extra opaque heavy violet and then painted the metallic over the top of that so you get that metallic sheen and um, it looks pretty good like I said I'm gonna do another layer or two of it uh, I don't know how well it's showing up on the camera but in real life you can see it it needs some uh, uh, it's got some brush strokes in it but I'm getting ready to go do the uh, OSL effect here I also want to take a second to um, oh something I keep meaning to mention and keep forgetting about the uh, inside lining of these slashes I went ahead and painted those um, I was going to paint them with the uh, Leviathan blue contrast paint that came out a little dark so I mixed it with a little bit of Talisar blue which is very bright just like a one-to-one -one ratio of that to brighten it up a little bit so it still looks a little dark on camera here but it's quite a bit um, it's bright enough that you can tell the difference between the blue and the black of the tunic which is what I was really after I also want to take a second and talk about these bases for a second like the box art which is what I use for my planning this is the the photo straight off the website and you can see that they've got the cobblestone base there all the figures have this cobblestone base on it and they show that on their website the thing to remember though if you didn't see my um, unboxing review video last week is those bases don't actually come with the figures <laughs> those bases these cobblestone resin bases these are a separate pack of bases that I had to purchase uh, in addition to the figures and then put all the figures on them they actually came with these slot of bases so because they have got a little slot between their feet and you have to cut them off kind of like the old Citadel metal figures so some of them are real easy like this guy was no problem cutting that slot off between his feet and then gluing them to the base you know it's not a big deal um, the next guy we've got up the Rialto assassin here he was pretty easy to cut off his slot and glue to the base just had to hold him in place for a while until the glue set he's fine some of them like this one is coming up in a couple weeks this was kind of a pain because she has no feet for that slot to attach to so I not only had to cut the slot off I kind of had to saw parts of it off and then file the whole thing down until it was flush with the bottom of her dress and then I could glue her to the base <laughs> so there's a little bit more involved but just be aware if you order these figures from TT combat and you want the 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 bases with them you want these cobblestone brick bases you're gonna have to order these separately um, they don't actually come with them they come with these slotted bases so um, I'm going to uh, go ahead and pause here and go do the OSL effect on his lamp and then we'll uh, come back and see how that looks and he'll be close to being done so I will see you soon all right, Brush Monkeys, the OSL is done, and I've got them all matte sealed, and our black lamp is looking pretty good. The uh, OSL makes this lamp look a lot brighter than it is on camera. Um, it's like a blindingly <laughs> bright light. But yeah, overall, he's looking really good. I really like how he came out. And if I could take just a second here and compare him to... This is the box art so to speak from the website and here's my take on them he, kind of hard to tell because the figure comes out a little darker than the picture but he looks pretty damn close I think my lamp is quite a bit brighter than his 
But uh, other than that, yeah, I'm really pleased with how he came out. So he is all done. I'm calling him done for the day. And I'll go ahead and peel him off of there. And the next one up. So that's that's the black lamp. That's the first figure from the uh, TT Games Carnival series. Um, I've got nine of these guys to paint. Uh, the next one up is the Rialto Assassin. And uh, again, I've of course, I've planned out all their paint schemes. So here's what he looks like in the box art. Here's what the actual figure looks like. So the Rialto Assassin is one of the, he's one of the ones that kind of caught my eye with this line because there's at least three figures and I, I've bought all three of them. Uh, the Rialto Assassin, somebody called a, a, a oh crap, what is his name? Bear with me a second. Um, Cappadocina and the Prince of Thieves. It all look right out of the. Um, for those of you that have played the Assassin's Creed video games, the, there's a there's one that's actually set in Venice. Uh, one of the Ezio series is set in Venice, and um, these guys all look like they're straight out of that game. So uh, that's one of the things that caught my eye about them, and and I wanted to paint them. And I have since found out that there is an actual Assassin's Creed tabletop game out. <laughs> So, I'm going to have my own assassins, and then hopefully someday I'll get those Assassin's Creed assassins. But for right now, we're calling the Black Lamp done, and we're moving on to the Rialto Assassin next week. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you next week. Bye. Hey Brush Monkeys, Tom from Flying Monkey Studios here. If you like what you see, click like down below. Um, if you want to be notified when new videos come out, click subscribe. Both of those help me with my YouTube numbers and help support me doing what, what I do best. Um, speaking of which, uh, if you want to support me more directly, you can visit my Patreon site um, and go on my Instagram page to see uh, all the miniatures that I paint on this site and how to get your hands on one of your own if you want one. We're also on Facebook and Twitter. You can check both of those to see when new videos get posted. And visit my merch store at uh, storefrontier.com slash flymonkeystudios. Uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching, and I will see you later. Bye.